Hi everyone, today we're going to be testing the analog input of our CP1H uh, PLC from Omron. And up on my screen here, what you'll see is our diagram. We have a 9 volt battery and uh, it's connected to one side of the potentiometer. The negative side is connected to the other side along with the zero volts of the PLC. The wiper of the potentiometer goes to the input of the PLC. And to see which input that is, we look at our wiring diagram from the PLC itself. You'll see that we have built-in connectors um, right down here. And we're using the first one, um, the top row here. So the first one's my positive, the next one's my negative. Inside, there's a small area where we can switch to say if we're using current or voltage. It's well hidden underneath over here so you have to look closely and look down deep inside and you'll see those switches they all must be off which is default in order to do voltage so and then our wiring diagram here's our analog input right here one and two okay now what we'll do is connect to our um, CX1 programmer and I have got a little program here that just scales that input now the input automatically comes in uh, channel 200 um, and that's our input, our show analog in. And we can see that by if we go back to um, our, our lesson on um, numbering systems and addressing in the CP1H. So in there you'll see that the anal built-in analog is right here and it comes in, we'll just blow that up a little bit. It comes in and in the core I.O. 200 to 203. So that's my first four words that the analog comes in at. Okay, we'll just close that down, minimize it, and then we'll go back to our scaling. So as you see, if I turn up my, my pot, my values start going up. And you can see my scaling value. So right about um, my scaling value right there is about 1 volt. Uh, coming in. So as I keep on going, you can see my scaling value keeps going up until I get close to my 9 volt battery that I have on my tester here. There we go. So that's actually about 8.96 volts. So close enough to 9. Okay, so that's it. Now, everything that you see in all the links and documentation can be found on our website. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. First of all, you can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information on YouTube just as you have. You, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, you'll get notification every time we publish new content to the site and you will get two free eBooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.